Fellas, do you want to play Skate 3 on PC? All right, chill out. I got you. Damn, bro. Anyway, first things first, we got to get an emulator. And we all know what one. Maybe some of y'all don't, but it's okay. I'll put you on. Don't worry, I got you. Head over to RCPS3. I'll link it down below. Every one of y'all better be on Windows because Mac sucks. And honestly, Linux users, I don't know about you guys, but I, you know what? I'm going to respect it because you're tech savvy. It couldn't be me though. But anyway, just download the version that corresponds to your system. Once that is downloaded, drag it to your desktop. Make that folder called whatever. I'm going to call it... Uh, PS3 emulator for real, for real, no cap, shaking my head. Open up the RAR, you know, the little zip file you got right there and drag it all that noise, you know, drag all that noise right into the new folder you just made. Now you're going to want to go over to the official Sony website, you know, for the firmware. It's required because, you know, you got to use this emulator like legally or whatever to run these games. Can't really click the button on the site, so I got a hack for you. Just right click it. And click save as link. It's only 200 megabytes, so it's no biggie. It's not going to break the bank or anything. Now you're going to want to click the file and click install firmware. Click that joint. Click that hoe you just downloaded. Now I'm going to put you on. Go over to Vim's layer. They got all the ROMs. Hella games. You know, I got to respect them for hooking it up. So now go back to your RCPS3 folder. Create a new folder called ROMs. That's where all your games are going. Literally just download whatever. Extract that joint right from the zip file to the ROMs folder. Go over to the emulator. Click file. Add games and select the ROM folder. Skate 3 should be right inside. Click open, click the emulator, and it'll boot it. Now, once you're in, boom, you run a Skate 3. If you want to use a controller, head into config, then pads, and then, you know, change just to whatever controller you have. There's like DualShock 3, 4, those are the PlayStation controllers, obviously. Personally, I'm using an Xbox controller. Click X input if you got an Xbox controller. And click save, open up Skate, and it's just going to work at that point. But now that you're in, as you can see, you launch the game and you're like, oh my god, this looks like garbage okay that's fine don't worry i got you i got you all right i got a little fix for that so head back into config click gpu and just change your resolution to your native so you're probably going to be running at like 1280 or whatever this 720 is it's going to be at like the ps3 resolution change it from that to 1080p or 4k whatever you're at whatever your graphics card can honestly handle and then Boom, just like that, you got a really beautiful version of Skate 3. I don't know what else to do in this menu. I just kind of be clicking shit, trying to hope, you know, hope for the best, make sure, you know, hope, for, hope it works. But as you can see, the game looks way better now. Like, hell yeah, bro. Now we do. Now we, now we play in Skate 3. And, you know, here's some, here's some footage. Here's some footage of the game. It looks, it looks good, right? Look at me do this, look at me this, do this backflip. Cue the backflip B-roll. Wow, that was that, that that was so cool. Good job. Whoa. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Bye. See you in the next video.